All right, hello, and welcome back to my 2.5D RPG in Unity tutorial. And today we're working on like kind of a, an effect system in a way. So, you, say if like a character was hit by a poison attack, they'd slowly take poison damage over time. Uh, that's the kind of like effect I'm looking for. So, say you'd have a kind of an effect that increases damage resistance or increases damage you deal, stuff like that. You know, like when you take Psycho in Fallout and it increases damage by 25%. That was the kind of thing that I was wanting to do. So I'll just give you a quick demo here. So if I click play. So if you if I press tab now, uh, you'll see that one, I've got a load of stats. I just made up some sort of generic sound ones. I've got health here, damage resistance, poison resistance, sanity, damage multiplier, and wellness, whatever. And I've also got effects on the other side, which so I've got toughness, so I take less damage than the average person. And effects, I am poisoned. So as you can see now, my health is decreasing by three a turn, or three turn, three like every couple of seconds. So if I press V, I can get rid of the poison effect, just because I linked it to the debugging thing. And yeah, uh, also if I press uh, P, you can see that uh, I take, I think it's four bits of damage each time a bullet hits me, or four points of damage. And it doesn't really do anything at the moment, but yeah, it's just because it's there. It just needs to be there so I can demo it. And that is like just an effect of toughness because ordinarily bullets will do five. If I can find a bullet recap, I think it's just right here. Bullet. Uh, yeah, that's got projectile damage of five, and I was only taking damage in increments of four, but it might have been hard to see because of how, uh, how fast it was. But yeah, so it's not like a very visual thing to show you, but it's kind of good to have, I guess. Sorry. I could have explained this, but yeah, uh, let's go on to the code. Okay, so first up, we have a stat effect uh, base. Uh, this is basically just a base class uh, which from which we derive all our effects classes. So uh, what we've got here is basically a name for it, which is used for when we're looking up an effect to see if we have that uh, effect on a particular human or not. A description, which just describes what the effect does for... Uh, if we need to display the GUI or whatever. Uh, we've got a Boolean for call on update. So that is just a bit saying, is this an effect where we'd need to call it every frame? Or if that's false, then do we, we just need to reference it when we're altering a specific value. So say health, we need, if we were altering health, we would need to return the damage resistance mod because we need to know how much to reduce the damage by. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what all these virtual floats are. So it returns the health mod. So. Uh, all these returns here at the moment because they get overwritten in the uh, particular effects. Uh, and the idea is that uh, if you return a positive number, it will increase uh, whatever value it is. Uh, it will it'll have a positive effect, sorry. So say if you returned uh, an increased damage resistance number, so a number more than zero, it would uh, reduce the amount of damage you take. But if you return a negative number, it'll increase the amount of damage you take and yeah, that's pretty much it. Although I probably should have some limits on this actually, like for damage multiplier, if you ret if you return like a negative number, then it'll just increase the health of the object you hit. So yeah, most of them will work from negative and positive, but like damage multiplier can't. And finally, we've got on update, which basically gets called if the uh, call on update is true from the human stat controller, which I'll go over in a minute. Uh, that'll basically just say, if you're poisoned, it'll count down every three seconds, it'll deal five damage or something. I've got a couple of example effects to show you how that works. So, we've got poisoned effect. <clears throat> uh, this inherits from stat effect space. Uh, I've just got a human H to reference the actual well, human that it's on. Uh, we've got a poison timer. So, this, is bas this basically just counts down, and once it reaches zero, it deals some damage to the human that's attached to. Sorry about that train going past. Uh, so first off, just on awake, we set call and update to true because we need to call this every frame. Uh, we get the human of the object that we are on. And we just set the effect name to poisoned and description to you are poisoned, find an antidote. And now we override the on update function. So we say count, basically we count down time dot delta time, uh, minus time dot delta time. And then once that is less than or equal to zero, we deal a damage and we then reset the timer to two seconds. So it repeats the cycle again and again until the player dies. Uh, 
before the effect is removed. Sorry about that. And uh, again, similar thing, literally identical thing with the bleeding effect. But yeah, I'm just dealing damage. Actually, oh, I got a message off Twitter. Uh, actually, that should be sorry. Uh, that's not poison damage. That should be DL normal damage. So yeah, so this was deal, but instead of dealing poison damage, it'll deal normal damage. So, uh, so you can have like different types of weapons, like poison weapons and not poison weapons, and be all different mechanics and shit around that. And finally, we've got a again a toughness one. It's a bit different. It doesn't just take away health; it just reduces your damage. So, in this case, we are returning zero point two. So that will increase the player's resistance to damage. And yeah, that'll make more sense once I show you how the uh, actual stats are calculated. So I will get onto that now. Okay, so for the human stat controller. Uh, this is basically just a script that's added to every human, so the player has one. Uh, put the load sprites here, and then the NPCs have one as well. So it's just like has a load of uh, basically just stats I came up with. So I've got like health, max health, damage resistance, poison resistance, sanity, whatever. Just so I'd have something to play around with when I'm making these effects scripts. Uh, we also have a list of stat effect base called current effects, and so these are the these will be the current effects being applied to the player. And to manipulate this list, we have a couple of methods. So first off, we've got add effect, where we pass in a stat effect base uh, called new effect, and we just check, basically perform a check to see if the list is null. And if we do, if it is, we just initialize it. And then if we if the list if, if this list here, current effects, doesn't actually contain the uh, effect that we're trying to add, then we add the effect to the list and it'll be applied, so whether it be toughness or poison damage or whatever. And again, this uses the method uh, do we already have effect, which takes the name of the effect you're trying to work out if we already have or not. Basically what it does is it goes through the list, all a list of effects, and if the names match, then it returns true, saying we, don't, we already have effect, because remember we have effect name uh, here. Uh, otherwise, we just return false. And likewise, we have a method to remove effects. So we just remove effect here, uh, pass in the string, and we go through the list. And if we find the effect in the list, then we just uh, store it here under status effect base. We then remove it from the list and then destroy the object. And then we return here rather than completing the rest of the list. Because remember, once we've manipulated the list inside a loop, we can't continue iterating through it just in case an error occurs when Unity doesn't like that, so we just return. And since we've already found and removed the effect, it doesn't really matter. But yeah. Uh, okay, so next up for the uh, update function. Uh, basically what we do is we go through all the effects, and if we have effects that need to be called on updates, then we just call the on update function from stat effect base, so there, or whatever it has been overwritten to be. Uh, fine. Okay. Just past again. Next up, we have some uh, just methods to deal different kinds of damage. So, you see here, first off, we can deal like normal type of damage. So, it gets passed in a float just for the damage value. And then we work out what will modify these values. So, in this case, we get the uh, damage resistance modifier. So this get damage resistance modifier is uh, where is it? Sorry, yeah. So basically, what we do is we have we start with an initial value of one. So this will like be the uh, starting value sort of thing, uh, and then we go through each of the uh, effects that we have applied to the to the uh, human. And we get the effect dot damage resistance mod, which as you'll see, it's just a float here. So if we had say toughness, that would return zero point two, so it'd increase that initial number by point two, but equally we could uh, return a negative number and reduce the number, and then we just return that once it's been summed. And what we do with that? 
is we multiply the damage by the modifier. And we then reduce the health by the damage. Hmm. Okay, uh, next up we have uh, just a health method that just increases the value of her health increases the health float uh, by a value passed in until it reaches the max at the ceiling, which is max health, and then don't just set health to be equal to max health and you can't go over it. And again, uh, got a similar method to the deal damage method, but instead it's deal poison damage. So instead of getting the damage resistance mod, we get the poison resistance mod. And yeah, so health, we reduce health, or we multiply dam by the uh, modifier. So if we had like, say, some kind of poison resistant armor, it would reduce the poison damage. Then we'd re just reduce health by the damage value. And again, pretty much identical thing for sanity. Got uh, different mods for, so we've got like damage resistance, poison resistance, uh, sanity mod. That's probably just be sanity resistance. I don't know. It didn't really make sort of sense saying sanity resistance, but you get the idea. You know, it'll like protect you from your sanity getting damaged or whatever. Uh, and then again, wellness, both reducing and increasing. And yeah, uh, and these basically just get sum up the values from the, all the effects you've got. So get health, get max health, and you know, it's all stuff like that basically. Uh, so I'll just hover over these so you can copy them down, but they're all functionally identical. You just get a different method each time. Uh, and finally, we've got uh, just some methods to return the information of a particular human uh, stat controller as a string. So this get stats a string will return stuff like the health, uh, max health, damage resistance, poison resistance, sanity, damage multiplier, and wellness. Uh, these basically just return it. it. It just returns it as one string. But since we have this uh, backslash, I think it's backslash n. Uh, this basically just says new line, so it looks like it's all in order and nice. So yeah, do that, and then we return it. And likewise, we can do get effects a string. But since they're all all the effects are stored in the list, we can just go through each of the effects and add effects plus effect name plus dash plus effect description plus new line, and then we return that. Okay, uh, that was pretty much it. I've got a few more changes, so I'll just go over them quickly. Uh, so, sorry, a uh, quick change just before. Uh, instead of uh, multiplying by the modifier, I should, uh, should have been dividing. That's uh, my bad. I, I fucked up. So yeah, we divide by the modifier. So what the bullet, of, the bullet effect, uh, well, the bullet does five damage as a default. And that plus the toughness effects, which increases the damage resistance by... 0 0.2 so you divide from uh, divide 5 by 1.2 and you get roughly 4 like a tiny little bit over but yeah roughly the effect I'm going for so yeah so you divide instead of uh, multiply sorry that was my fault and next up I've uh, got a couple of changes first uh, first on is projectile so we made this last time for when, well, when we had a weapon sorry uh, now I've got some more complex on collision enter. So first off, we get need the human script off the call dot game object dot get component my human, and we get the uh, my creator dot get component human. Uh, actually, hold it. I'll cut that out and put that there because if H is null, we don't need to do that. So I'll just have it there instead. So if the if the object we collided with doesn't have a human, we don't do anything because it's just a rock or something, so we can just destroy it. Otherwise, uh, we get the human off the uh, object that created the projectile, and then we deal damage to the human we've collided with. Uh, so we multiply the projectile damage by me uh, dot uh, from the. We get the stack controller off the object that created the. Uh... Uh, fucking sorry, we get the 
So basically, we deal damage to the object we've collided with, uh, but we calculate the damage by multiplying the projectile damage by the damage multiplier of the human stat controller that on, that's on the game object that created the projectile. So, yeah. So I'll just call, uh, where is it, the method. Yeah, it's damage multiplier. Yeah. And that is how the new uh, damaging works. Oh, that's how dealing damage multipliers works on this. Uh, next up, uh, one change was just, I'll just show you how we actually add effects. I just, uh, I said a little debug thing uh, to add some effects to the player and to the NPCs. So one has a bleeding effect, but you kind of know what it looks like. So I won't put it on again onto the player. And so we just add the uh, effect, uh, com we add the effect as a just component to the game object of the human you want to apply it to. And then we get component, the stat controller, and then add the effect to the list. Well, we could probably store the cache the uh, effect so we don't have to use player.get component again, but it doesn't matter because uh, this is just a uh, debugging thing or a uh, showcasing thing or whatever it's called. Sorry, a bit tired today. Um, finally, uh, on the play controller, we've got basically just code for displaying the effects that are currently active on the player. So we've got a bool for draw effects equaling false at the start. And on update, we have this uh, draw effects control. And that's basically just a method that keeps an eye out for the user pressing tab and it reverses the Boolean if tab is pressed. And we have a new on GUI method, which has all the scaling stuff which that we had in the previous episode when we were doing the inventory. And if draw effects is equal to true, then we basically just draw a background, we draw a box which just says we've got the player stats and effects open. And then we just draw backgrounds for the stats, one for the stats, one for the effects, which is just a box. And then we get the stats a string and the, get the effects a string and we just draw them. So yeah, it's not that interesting of an episode. Or we kind of needed to do this because well, one is kind of useful, nice to have effects and stuff because they improve gameplay. And we can now, uh, since we actually have effects, we can uh, give the items functionality because right now they don't really do anything. So the next episode will probably be on adding item functionality and stuff. So yeah. So one last quick demonstration. So we start with uh, toughness effect. And stuff so you can see that increases damage resistance uh, just press p and you can see that we don't take five damage we take like four roughly each time or maybe you can't because it's quite fast but whatever you get the picture also display the effects and if i just go to the test input we can reduce this we can add the bleeding and poisoned effects And if I press tab, you can see that our health decreases gradually because we are both bleeding and poisoned, but we don't have any visual effects. So you can't really see it on the player. So that'll be something to do much later down the line. But yeah, so this was the effect system. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, what have I been doing this week? Uh, just more work on loud or quiet, really. Uh, just trying to get a build I'm happy with to push up to Steam so I can submit it for approval and hopefully uh, release on the 20th of November. So that'd be good. Uh, so yeah, go check out all the that, uh, links are in the description to the store page and the itch.io demo, which is all good. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. And yeah, goodbye.